I feel like this tweet right here perfectly sums up my mood right now. It says, get a man who loves you as much as Martin loves Nintendo. <laughs> it's so good. Anyway, hello everybody. I'm in the letter word, also known as Martin, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I am so excited. I am opening up the Nintendo Switch almost an entire week before the console releases. As well as that, we've got four other accessories for it as well. Thank you very much for Nintendo for making this possible, and let's get into it. So I'm going to leave the best for last. Let's very quickly get ourselves through the accessories. So we're starting off with this. It is the Joy Controllers. So these, I believe, are, yes, the red and the blue ones, respectively. They come nicely bubble wrapped. They also come inside of a nice plastic film as well. And then probably the most important part are these things right here, the safety wrist straps. Because you don't want to be playing something like one, two switch and then flinging your Joy Controller halfway across the room. And these are really nicely designed. So they actually just slide onto the side of the Joy Controller. So let's go ahead and smack these two together. It's really simple. All you got to do is pop the lock on the bottom to begin with, and then you just slide it from the top to the bottom, lock it into place, and now they are one and the same. And then the exact same again, just pop the lock at the bottom of the wrist strap, pull right the way up and lock it back into place. And there you go. Both Joy Controllers aren't going anywhere. So I tell you what, now that we've got the Joy-Con controllers out, why don't we throw them inside of the charging grip? Pretty much just two things. Instruction manual, of course. We've got a USB-C cable, which is pretty much expected for the charging purposes. And then the main attraction itself. There we go, the charging grip. So it's got the port in the top of the grip for uh, charging up. It's got a couple of LEDs on here. I'm not entirely sure what their purpose is. I'm assuming that's going to be for battery life, but I'm not 100% sure and then of course if you turn it sideways you can see that we've got a similar grip to the wrist straps in order to lock the controllers into place i'm going to do the same for the red controller so you're going to come straight out of there slide it into the top of the grip and then there you go you've got your nice square face grip controller for the nintendo switch and it actually feels quite nice and just a little tip as well if you want to unlatch either of the joy controllers from the grip i'd recommend pressing in this little button right here just by the shoulder button and it actually releases the lock that it has in the grip so you do that nice little pull nothing has to get ruined. But if this kind of controller isn't your cup of tea, then you can always go ahead and try out the Pro Controller for the Switch. So this is actually one of the accessories that I have pre-ordered for the Switch because I genuinely enjoyed using it at the press event in London when we played Splatoon 2. It was brilliant. So as expected, you've got yourself a USB-C cable, comes with it to charge, and then you've got the bad boy itself. And this thing looks relatively square, it looks relatively bulky, but it is so ergonomic and so nice to hold that I was just completely completely blown away. I was really, really confused by the whole thing. So you've got your L button, R button, ZL, ZR. You've got the point on top for charging. I'm assuming this little button here is for syncing. You've got your A, B, X and Y over there. You've got your two joysticks, your plus, your minuses, your D-pad, your home button. And then I don't know what this button's function is just yet. And you've got the Switch logo printed on the front as well. And then we can move on to the main attraction, the Nintendo Switch unit itself. And here's what it looks like inside of a retail box when you first open it. Are you ready for this? Da -da 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 -da. Oh my god, it's so cool. I can't believe it's really here. So we've got another Joy Controller, another Joy Controller, which comes with the unit itself. Those ones were just bonuses before. And then the actual unit itself. So let me open this bad boy up and we can have a look. So of course, it doesn't look like too much right now because it's not turned on. Um, along the top of the device, we've got ourselves a power button. We've got ourselves the volume controls. We've got a little ventilation here to make sure that nothing goes crazy and overheats too much. We've got the headphone port right there. And then we've got the game card slot, which I'm assuming pops out like so. Yeah, it doesn't feel too dissimilar to a 3DS. As you'd expect, either side of the unit, there are places where you can slot in your joy controllers to make it one full unit. And then we move on to the bottom. So there's not too much going on down here. We've got the kickstand, which we can pop out real quick like that. Uh, we have got the USB-C port as well and a couple of little indents which will be for docking the device. And then taking a little look at the back of the device as well, we've just got a nice big Nintendo Switch logo and not too much else going on there. So I'm going to pop the kickstand out. I'm going to place this to the side for a moment and then we can look into the rest of the box. What have we got? So in the middle, we've got ourselves the charging grip, which we've already taken a brief look at before. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we have got two more wrist straps as well. Super handy that they're in the, uh, in the base box. And then we have here what I can only assume is the dock. So let's take a little look at this bad boy. Let's pull the little side out. 
There we go. So this is nice and slick. If you want to have a little look at that from the front, we've got ourselves the Nintendo Switch logo, plenty of space in the top there for the actual device to sit inside of. And if we just really quickly turn this bad boy around as well, we can pop open the flap at the back and you can see that we've actually got access here to uh, the AC adapter, the USB port, as well as the HDMI out, which are all going to be super, super important. And it's quite nice that you can fold this down or leave it open and have all of the cables trail out the side. It's a nice way of keeping things tidy. And I'm not sure how I didn't spot this before, but if you have a little look on the side of the dock as well, we've actually got two USB ports there. Instruction manual, as expected. It does include a HDMI cable, which is pretty cool. And then, of course, to power all of this, we've got the exact same AC adapter that we've already looked at. Goes into the mains, USB-C out the other side, whether it's going into the dock or if it's going into the switch itself. So before we head downstairs, plug all this in, boot it up for the very first time, uh, I've got the switch unit, I've got the dock. Let's see how they go together. I know that sounds really daft, but I just want to see whether there's going to be any kind of locking mechanic, um, if it's going to be rigid, if it's going to be loose, anything like that. So let's pop it in so it's screen side out towards the logo on the front of the dock and you just drop it into place right there and that's it. Is there an extra click or no? No, it just feels like it's got a little bit of a spring bounce back and that's it. It's a little bit loose if anything. See what I mean? I can just sort of like tap the sides and it wiggles around quite a lot. And then if you go to pull it out, it literally just glides out straight away. And that really surprises me. I genuinely thought there would be a bit more of like a kaplunk or a click or a little lever to flip on either side of it, but it just kind of sits there and wiggles around quite freely. And when you pull it out, there's the most minuscule bit of resistance and that's all that you're kind of facing right there. So I'm assuming there may be a little bit of magnetism going on just maybe around the USB-C ring because other than that, there's not too much holding this in place, but it seems to not want to go anywhere. My trailer thought is if my cat wanders by and bumps into it, are they going to knock it out of the dock? And I think the answer might be no. I think we might be okay on this front. Oh, and it looks like someone's getting impatient. <laughs> it's turned itself on. I guess let's go and plug it in and try Try it out. Before we do though, let's do what it's actually asking us to do. Let's slide one Joy Controller into the top of there, the second Joy Con Controller into the top of there, and it looks like it might be ready to kick off. Yeah! Look at this! So now that I've actually got a device in my hands, I can now experience it without any kind of bracket. And dude, it feels fine. It feels great. The weight is totally cool. I'm not going to have to rest my arms on my legs. I'm not going to have to constantly use the kickstand and have the Joy-Cons like separated from the device itself if I were on like train or car journeys. You can already see there on that camera that the screen is popping. And also as well, the controllers don't feel too far apart. They actually feel very nice and comfortably aside. Um, and at the moment you can see I'm just using my little fingers just to sort of hold the weight under the bottom side and it doesn't feel like they're going to give way anytime soon. And I've no idea how I forgot about this, but this thing is actually a touch screen as well. Um, and if you listen, super responsive. Every time I click, no matter how the frequency, like how hard I hit it, it's picking it up straight away. It's really, really responsive. Ah, here we go. So now it's asking me the step if I want to connect it to a larger TV. Let's get ourselves downstairs into my office. Let's bang it into the Elgato so we can capture everything that happens during the setup phase. All right, here we go. Docking the switch unit. And then fingers crossed, any second now, we should get a feed. Oh, there it is. All right, so we've got the switch inside of the dock. I've got the Joy-Cons inside of the grip. Uh, let's hit A and see what we're going to next. Oh, set your icon and nickname. All right, next. We're going to go for the... I was going to go for one of the links, but I really want to do the green squid from Splatoon. Let's go for it. Uh, enter your nickname. Well, given that this one's going to be shared in the office, let's just call it Yogscast and see what happens then. Hopefully the username isn't already taken. Start. Okay, everything looks groovy there. Uh, we don't want to add any other users for now, so we're going to skip that. We're going to skip the parental controls, and we're going to hit the home button. And then, voila! Look at that! To play a game, you can insert a game card or download software from the Nintendo eShop. So for anybody that's yet to see what a Nintendo Switch cartridge looks like, there you go. Let's quickly turn it over onto the back as well, so you can have a little look at the chip. And then we're just going to quickly pop open the game chip holder. We're going to throw it in with the chip facing backwards, away from the screen. A little press and lock like the 3DS. And there you go. And one final thing I want to do before finishing the video today is to very quickly show you, yes, it does work simply by pulling it out of the dock. So here we go. Here is the Nintendo Switch. You literally just pick it up, 
and there you go. Very, very, very sudden cut. I'm really sorry about that, but my camera gave out towards the end of the day. So I've just finished editing up the video that you're watching right now, and I just realized that I also never got an outro, so thank you so much for watching this video. Keep an eye on this channel if you want to learn anything more about the Nintendo Switch. I'm going to be playing through Zelda Breath of the Wilds on the 2nd of March. I'm allowed to start uploading it a day before release. I'm also going to be checking out 1-2-Switch with people like Kath, potentially Shin, other people like that. If you do happen to have any more questions about the Nintendo Switch, or you want to know my opinion on certain certain things, then do leave all of that in the comment section below. Please leave a like on the video if you've watched this far, it really helped me out because things like this are massively searched on YouTube and the stronger that I can chart in the search results, the more likely this channel can be to grow and thrive and succeed. So I really, really appreciate that in return. Have an awesome one and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.